get on in here, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I'm Minister Kev. Lord willing, I'll be able to roll even this bonus footage. I want to say peace, blessings, love, hope, strength, and power from God our Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Well, wait a minute, y'all. I, I done found out the mystery, right? That everybody want to know. Now, I heard through the grapevine. Now, I'm not picking on old Tom over there because he have apologized for that rude behavior. You know, I heard he apologized to me and some others, right? But nevertheless, uh, the show must go on. Uh, and it's more than a show, of course. But uh, I'm taught to reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. I still say beware of false prophets. Now, Tom come with false teaching, right? About the gospel of Jesus Christ, it is the death, the burial, and the resurrection. Or if I say the death, the burial, and him being raised up. It's the same in that context. So you can't say when Jesus Christ was raised up that that is different than his resurrection. That's talking about his resurrection. We're going to get into that. But what I have discovered in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, it's the same story, but just different accounts. That's where you miss the mark. In regard to John, the 20th chapter, when Jesus Christ said, touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. When he said that, oh, why did he say that? And all these speculations. But you're adding on, right, to the word of God. The reason he said that, if you read all the gospels and put them together, is that Mary, both of both Marys, right? Mary, they had already held him by his feet. So that's why I said, touch me not. And he just didn't say this. See, with the gospel, you can get more uh, events of what happened even about the same story, right? So different things come into play. Example, uh, you know, John 20, you know, the first verse, it talks about the stone taken away from the sculpture, right? Well, how was it taken away? The angels, right? And there was an earthquake. We don't get that from John. That's why we got to read the other gospels, right? Now let's pick up verse number 12 of John 20. Remember, as I paraphrase, the two angels that were sitting, right? You know, where the body of Jesus Christ had lain. Now, let me pick up in verse 13. And they say unto her, Woman, why we thou? She said unto them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I knew not where they have laid him. And when she had thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing and knew not that it was Jesus. Jesus said unto her, Woman, why we thou? Whom seek, seekest thou? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said unto him, Sir, if thou have borne him thence, hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said unto her, Mary. She turned herself and said unto him, Reboni, which is to say, Master. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. Now let me stop right there. Tom is saying that. Right here, when he said he had not ascended to his father, that shortly after that he ascended. And then he ascended again for good, right? So he's t Tom is teaching two resurrections and two ascensions. And that's wrong. I hope I can roll this bonus footage of being in the elements, right? I am not yet ascended to my father. But let me go back. He said, touch me not. And I'm saying he married, both of the Marys had already Grab him by his feet. We're going to get into that, right? For I have not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend, uh, I ascend unto my father and your father, and to my God and your God. Now we understand when he says, but go to my brethren and say to them. He also told them to, to 
Go to Galilee. So there were other things that he said. That's why I got to read the other gospel accounts. Right. Let's go to Matthew. Now, this is the story of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Different accounts. So we're going to get different things. Right. So let's pick up. Now, uh, we know that when she had came to the scripture, uh, there was a great earthquake. Right. Now, let for the sake of time. Right. Let's skip down to verse number six. He is not here for he is risen. As he said, come see the place where the Lord lay and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall you see him. Lo, I have told you. I have told you. Right. And they departed quickly from the scripture with fear and great joy and did run to bring his disciples word. And as they went to tell his disciples, so they left. And as they were going, who's the day? Both Marys. Right? Or Mary for sure. Mary Magdalene. And as they went to tell, well, it says they. There were two Marys, right? And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hell. And they came and held him by his feet and worshipped him. Then you know, right there, both Marys. Had already held, touched him, held him by his feet, and worshipped him. Then said Jesus unto to them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren. Same language. Look. But go tell my brethren. Over there in John 20, verse 17. But go tell my brethren. And say unto them, I ascend to my father. So there was more things he said. Right? Back to Matthew 28, 10. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren. That they go unto Galilee, and there shall they see me. Right? So let's flip back. So, John 20, 17. Jesus said unto her, touch me not. He said, touch me not. Well, if he said, touch me not, then obviously they were touching him. So I'm saying, oh, I figured out the big mystery. No, you just got to read the Gospels. Right? Mary had already touched him. So let's pick up. Jesus said unto her, touch me not, for I'm not yet ascended to my father. Jesus Christ got a father, y'all. He's not the father, Tom, but he got a father. Yeah, preach the gospel. Not no mumbo jumbo, not Tom's gospel. But go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father and to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things unto her. So hopefully I can roll this bonus footage and maybe I'll come back.